No, how could this happen? How could they be so... Oh, who did this? Oh no, you know what this is. I know why this has happened. Let's make coffee and cry our eyes out. There it is. Hi, Nihongo from Chicago. Chicago. To Tokyo in November. Evo this weekend. Hands up if you're excited. Yo, Nihongo, new SF5 characters revealed a few seconds ago. That's not true. I don't believe you. But 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 I am curious. <laughs> I don't believe you, but I am curious. So now I'm going to have a quick look. <laughs> Nothing on my timeline, nothing on my timeline, nothing on my timeline. Oh! Oh, uh, these are f these are fake. These have to be fake. No way. Nah, this is fake. That's gotta be fake. No way. Oh god, there's a video in the Discord? You're kidding. No! Oh no, it's a video on Steam? Oh no, <laughs> why? Why? I mean, there's no use. There's no use trying to stop it. If it's out there, it's out there. But, no! <laughs> oh, poor Capcom, no! Well, I do have Twitter. I'm, I'm unable to escape from it. But I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna leave it. I'm probably gonna end up watching it after this. You, oh, you, no! No, how could this happen? How could they be so, oh, who did this? Oh no, you know what this is. I know why this has happened. This is because it was going to be a day one launch. They should never do day one launch. This is what happened with Kage. They wanted him to be playable immediately. And so of course they had to give confidential information to another third party. And this was of course going to happen. Oh man, that's such a shame. Listen, as a fan, I'm mega excited. As a fan, I'm mega, mega, mega excited about new characters being revealed. Well, no, see, the, no, the problem isn't someone putting the video on YouTube. The video, the problem with Kage was that it was this exactly the same. It's just a leak. Yeah, I don't know what happened with DB Fighters, but with with Kage releasing an SF5 last year, they wanted him to be playable immediately. Basically, day one release, like like, oh sorry, day one release, as in on that day of the trailer, it's playable. That's... that's the toughest thing. Now, don't spoil it, don't spoil it in the chat. If anyone, if no one wants to know, if, if no one wants to know about it until the day that it happens, just let them experience the surprise. Yeah, I think everyone's gonna end up watching it later, to be fair, but I don't think it... Of course it changes the hype level. The hype level is a little different. Of course. It would be ide it would be much better if it hadn't been leaked. But it has been leaked, but I don't think that will change the height level. I think the height level will still be very, very high. Oh man, <laughs> I really have nothing else to say apart from, oh man, this is such a tragedy for, for Capcom. It's not a tragedy, it's not a tragedy because the end result is we get what's coming, we get what's coming and that's fine. We're all happy. We're all happy. It's just, it would have been nice if it hadn't been ruined by whichever third party had messed it all up. It's a shame, but... Oh, man. I don't know what else to say apart from, oh, man. Let's make coffee and cry our eyes out. When you want a game's DLC to be playable on day one, unfortunately, you have to release that information to, you know, companies much earlier whether it's a week before, or a few days before, or a month before. But you never really know. Is a company going to leak that information on purpose just to get you to visit their site faster because they're the, the, the only ones that have the, have the information. By the way, I'm using different filters to usual today. So I'm actually gonna wet the filter. Usually, the filters that I usually use, I, I've actually been instructed to not, not 
wet the filter. It's actually better to not wet the filter with some of these, this, this other brand. Leaks, man. To work on something for nine months and more likely to have been working on something for a full year only to have it leaked by some third party or who knows maybe it was an, an employee who gave someone else the information too early that's heartbreaking because as a developer you you you've worked you've kept it secret for a reason because you know how joyful it'll be when it's released as information and hype for the people who are excited about this stuff. You know, it's it's I think the the clearest the clearest way to describe it would be when the iPhone 4S released and everyone was complaining <laughs> no, I say everyone. Media was complaining about how you could death grip the iPhone 4. Like if you held it like this, it was fine. And if you held it like this, you covered up the two antenna bands on the bottom and the signal would actually decrease. And people were saying that that ruins the whole product and that it's unusable. And of course that's, that's not true. You could just put a rubber case on it and it was fine. If you held it differently, it was fine. But the way people just destroyed and complained about the iPhone in the media because of this problem. Like, Steve Jobs went on stage and it was it's so unfortunate because it's like one of the very last f speeches that he ever gave was him trying to explain to the general public that this is something that they had worked on really hard. It's not just a random toy that came out of a big company. These are human people who worked on these products and they're having to read the media, lay into their product and say that it's a massive failure and what a waste and what a shame and nobody buy this thing which is so incredibly flawed. It's something they had been working on for potentially multiple years in the run up to the iPhone 4S, which as you can see, is still like, you know, the retina screen that we got in the iPhone 4? Was it iPhone 4 or was it iPhone 4S? I think it was iPhone 4. The retina screen that we got in the iPhone 4? That's still basically the screen that we're using for all of our phones today. Retina screen. Sorry, I am trying to read the chat, but at the same time, I'm still in shock over what's happened at Capcom. Fantastic news. In all honesty, there's nothing bad happening here but just such a shame for a company to have that ruined for them. It's like when Star Wars The Force Awakens was spoiled. Oh no, did someone spoil Force Awakens for you? Jeez, who spoiled that for you? I I surprisingly got through Force Awakens without any spoilers. I bought my tickets super, super early. I can't remember, was it a year before? I think I bought the, t the tickets like a year beforehand. And then I went and, I went and watched Star Wars The Force Awakens on day one. It was amazing, you know. There's nothing like a day one release of, you know, the original Star Wars movies. I remember when episode three came out, I went with my friends and there were people in stormtrooper costumes, people with lightsabers, it was nuts. And I'm a big fan of Star Wars episode three. I quite liked it. Coffee stream, that's right. We're coffee streaming right now. But unfortunately, the topic is, is a, is, a, is, a, is a joyous one and a sad one. Joyous because we've got new information, but sad because it must be heartbreaking to see all of your hard work keeping something secret because of the fans, because the fans deserve hype. They're keeping it hype for the fans. For it to be ruined like this is, is, is you know, it's such a shame, but it's not ruined. It's not ruined, it's still exciting. Oh, Gina from Super Mario RPG. Well, I, I think Smash has so much potential. So let's try a bit of Smash. So there's a new character. Last time I played Smash, I played this character. I really haven't played the game since. And this new character is called Hero. 